The vaquita is a shy member of the porpoise family. They are the most endangered of the world's marine mammals. Less than 20 vaquitas remain in the wild, and entanglement in illegal gillnets is driving the species toward extinction. Vaquitas have the smallest range of any whale, dolphin, or porpoise and they only live in the northern part of the Gulf of California, an area that is rich in fish and shrimp. The decrease in the vaquita population is also related to the totoaba, a large fish that also only lives in the Gulf of California. The totoaba is listed as endangered in Mexico and the United States and because totoaba and vaquita are similar in size, gillnets illegally set for totoaba are the deadliest for vaquitas. Vaquitas have small, strong bodies with a rounded head and no beak. They have black patches around their eyes and lips and small, spade-shaped teeth. They also have triangle-shaped dorsal fins in the middle of their backs, which are taller and wider than in other porpoises. These fins might allow vaquitas to reduce their body temperatures in warm water and their backs are dark gray, while their bellies are a lighter gray. Vaquitas are often found alone or in pairs. These shy animals usually avoid boats with active engines, and they are difficult to observe because of their small size, inconspicuous and slow surface rolls, small group size, and avoidance of motorized vessels. They feed on small fish, crustaceans, such as shrimp, and cephalopods, such as squid and octopuses. The blue whale is the largest animal on the planet, weighing as much as 200 tons, approximately 33 elephants. The blue whale has a heart the size of a Volkswagen Beetle and its stomach can hold one ton of krill and it needs to eat about four tons of krill each day. They are the loudest animals on Earth and are even louder than a jet engine. Their calls reach 188 decibels, while a jet reaches 140 decibels. Their low-frequency whistle can be heard for hundreds of miles and is probably used to attract other blue whales. Blue whales are one of the largest animals ever to live on Earth. Their primary source of food is krill, a small crustacean found in all the world's oceans. Blue whale is usually solitary, but can be found in pairs. When productivity is high enough, blue whales can be seen in gatherings of more than 50 individuals. Populations may go on long migrations, traveling to their summer feeding grounds towards the poles and then heading to their winter breeding grounds in more equatorial waters. The animals appear to use memory to locate the best feeding areas and there is evidence of alternative strategies, such as year-round residency and partial, where only some individuals migrate, or age-slash-sex-based migration. Some whales have been recorded feeding in breeding grounds. The traveling speed for blue whales ranges 5 to 30 kilometers per hour, 3.1 to 18.6 miles per hour. Their massive size limits their ability to breach. The fin whale, Balanoptera physalis, also known as the finback whale or common rorqual, is a species of baleen whale and the second longest cetacean after the blue whale. The biggest individual reportedly measured 26 meters, 85 feet in length with a maximum recorded weight of 77 to 81 tons and their body is long, slender and brownish-gray in color, with a paler underside to appear less conspicuous. Among whale species, the fin whale is exceeded in size only by the blue whale. Adults usually average 40 to 50 tons in weight and the males have a mean length of 21 meters 69 feet, and females of 22 meters 72 feet. They are sexually dimorphic with females generally being longer and heavier than males. The fin whale is brownish to dark or light gray dorsally and white ventrally. The left side of the head is dark gray, while the right side exhibits a complex pattern of contrasting light and dark markings. The right lower jaw is white or light gray, which sometimes extends laterally and dorsally unto the upper jaw. Dark, oval-shaped areas of pigment called flipper shadows extend below and posterior to the pectoral fins, 39. 
the highest population density occurs in temperate and cool waters. Its prey mainly consists of smaller schooling fish, small squid, or crustaceans, including copepods and krill and their mating takes place in temperate, low-latitude seas during the winter. Like all other large whales, the fin whale was a prized kill during the heyday of whaling, from 1840 to 1861 and it remained so into the 20th century but decades of over-harvesting contributed to declining numbers through the late 20th century. This species has a global distribution that is largely limited to tropical and subtropical marine and estuary ecosystems. At least two recognized subspecies exist, one in the North Atlantic and one across the Southern Hemisphere. It is found in all the major oceans, from polar to tropical waters, though it is absent only from waters close to the pack ice at the poles and relatively small areas of water away from the open ocean. The hawksbill sea turtle, Eretmocles imbricata, is a critically endangered sea turtle belonging to the family Chelonidae. It is the only extant species in the genus Eretmocles. The appearance of the hawksbill is similar to that of other marine turtles. It has a flattened body shape, a protective carapace, and flipper-like limbs, adapted for swimming in the open ocean. E. Imbricata is easily distinguished from other sea turtles by its sharp, curving beak with prominent tomium and the saw-like appearance of its shell margins. Hawksbill shells slightly change colors, depending on water temperature. While this turtle lives part of its life in the open ocean, it spends more time in shallow lagoons and coral reefs. Hawksbill shells were the primary source of tortoiseshell material used for decorative purposes. Adult hawksbill sea turtles typically grow to 1 meter 3 feet in length, weighing around 80 kilograms on average. The heaviest hawksbill ever captured weighed 127 kilograms. And the turtle's shell, or carapace, has an amber background patterned with an irregular combination of light and dark streaks, with predominantly black and mottled brown colors radiating to the sides. While they are omnivorous, sea sponges are their principal food, they constitute 70 to 95 percent of the turtle's diets. However, like many spongivores, they feed only on select species, ignoring many others. Aside from sponges, hawksbills feed on algae, marine plants, seagrasses, woody plant remains, mangrove fruits and seeds, cnidarians, comb jellies and other jellyfish, hydrozoans, hard corals, zoanthids, and sea anemones, bryozoans, mollusks, squid, snails, nudibranch, and tusk shells, echinoderms, sea cucumbers and sea urchins, tunicates, fish and their eggs, crustaceans, and arthropods like crabs, lobsters, and barnacles. They also feed on the dangerous jellyfish-like hydrozoan, the Portuguese man o war Phasalia physalis. Hawksbills close their unprotected eyes when they feed on these cnidarians. The man o war's stinging cells cannot penetrate the turtle's armored heads, eight. The Atlantic bluefin tuna, Thunisthinus, is a species of tuna in the family Scombridae. It is variously known as the northern bluefin tuna, mainly when including Pacific bluefin as a subspecies, giant bluefin tuna, for individuals exceeding 150 kilograms, 330 pounds, and formerly as the tunny. Atlantic bluefins are native to both the western and eastern Atlantic Ocean, as well as the Mediterranean Sea. They have become extinct in the Black Sea. The Atlantic bluefin tuna is a close relative of one of the other two bluefin tuna species, the Pacific bluefin tuna. The southern bluefin tuna, on the other hand, is more closely related to other tuna species such as yellowfin tuna and big-eye tuna, and the similarities between the southern and northern species are due to convergent evolution. Atlantic bluefin tuna have been recorded at up to 680 kilograms, 1,500 pounds in weight, and rival the black marlin, blue marlin, and swordfish as the largest Persiformes. Throughout recorded history, the Atlantic bluefin tuna has been highly prized as a food fish. Besides their commercial value as food, the great size, speed, and power they display as predators has attracted the admiration of fishermen, writers, and scientists. 
The Atlantic bluefin tuna has been the foundation of one of the world's most lucrative commercial fisheries. The Atlantic bluefin tuna typically hunts small fish such as sardines, herring, mackerel, and eels, and invertebrates such as squid and crustaceans. They exhibit opportunistic hunting in schools of fish organized by size, and their white skeletal muscle allows for large contractions, which aids birds swimming to ensure prey capture. Atlantic bluefin tuna are eaten by a wide variety of predators. When they are newly hatched, they are eaten by other fishes that specialize on eating plankton and at that life stage, their numbers are reduced dramatically and those that survive face a steady increase in the size of their predators. This bluefin tuna is present in many bodies of water, including the Gulf of Mexico, the Atlantic Ocean, and the Mediterranean and is among the largest tuna species and is famous as a menu item in sushi restaurants. The greed in making rampant tuna overfishing has pushed to the brink of bluefin tuna extinction for decades. Bluefins are highly migratory and limited numbers of individuals may cross the Atlantic in as little as 60 days and are widely distributed throughout the Atlantic and can be found from Newfoundland all the way to the coast of Brazil. One of the smallest marine dolphins in the world, Hector's dolphins grow no more than 1.5 m in length. They only found in New Zealand's waters, this distinctive grey dolphin with black and white markings and a round dorsal fin is the most easily recognized species of dolphin in New Zealand. They are the only dolphins in New Zealand with a rounded black dorsal fin and their bodies are a distinctive grey, with white and black markings and a short snout. Females reach sexual maturity between 7 to 9 years of age and they produce just one calf every 2 to 3 years, making population increase in a very slow process. Most females only have 4 or 5 calves in a lifetime. Dolphins and people have shared our coastal waters and bays for centuries. In recent years, there has been a worldwide increase in awareness of marine mammals and a greater desire to protect them. Setnet fishing poses a major threat to Hector's and Maui dolphin. Like all marine mammals, they need to come to the surface regularly to breathe and if they become tangled in set nets, they will hold their breath until they suffocate. Because these dolphins occur close inshore, often in bays and harbors, they are at risk of being injured by boats. Newborn dolphins are particularly vulnerable as they swim relatively slowly, close to the surface and some have been killed by boat propellers when unwary boa ties have run them. The common threats of this Hector dolphins are fishing, toxoplasmosis and other diseases, oil and gas exploration, boat strike, mining, tourism and noise.